Hey, I want to let you in a little secret. Um, my husband and I have started trying for a baby. So I host to a baby for 2024. Um, very excited. Um, I'm going to go talk to my doctor soon. Just tell to let her know that we're going to be trying. And um, we're going to get onto it. And hopefully, like I say, baby 2024. Uh, very excited. Oh, I was really on the fence of just like having baby or not having baby um, in this day and age. But I also need to remember that my baby can be the difference in this world. Um, God willing, my baby will be the difference um, and be part of the change for this world to the better, to, to be towards Christ um, again. So, yeah, yes, sir. Hoping for a baby in 2024. Good morning. I just went on my warning walk and um, I want to share something with you guys. I think I might be pregnant. I did a test this morning and because um, I'm like, I think I'm two days before my period should come. So I did one of the early, six days early tests and you can see a faint line. And then when I went to go look at one I took three days ago that I thought was negative, um, I picked it up and there's like also dripping, like bleeding through to the midline. Um, so I actually think I might be pregnant. I'll show you photos of them, how they look. Um, I'm very excited. I didn't think it was going to happen this quickly. But yeah, I've been off hormones um, and contraceptive for two or three years now. And I've only been using like for protection condoms. So my body's pretty hormonal free in a sense. Um, so fingers crossed that I am actually pregnant. I'm super excited. Um, my husband doesn't know anything yet. I'm not going to say anything until it's confirmed. And I do want to get him a little thing that says daddy something. Like I want to do it special for him. So yeah, fingers crossed. <laughs> I'm very excited. Oh, and today's the 1st of February. So 1st of February, my baby is the, is the time I found out I was pregnant with you. <laughs> Hello from my container. It is currently very hot outside, but I thought I'd come out and have a little bit of a chat with you guys because I haven't. Um, well, technically, you guys won't even notice it because, yeah, it will be probably be part of this video anyway. So you won't even notice how long I haven't, haven't had a chat with you. But uh, last time we spoke, I said I, I was thinking that I was pregnant um, and that I did a test and it came back positive. So I think it was the 1st of February. Um, it was my first morning where I did a walk and I was like, I'm pregnant. I'm going to get it confirmed. We got it confirmed, um, it's blood test results came back and um, yeah, I am pregnant, definitely pregnant. Four weeks, still very early. Um, so you probably won't see this video for a few weeks, um, but it's definitely confirmed now that I am pregnant. Um, not having much morning sickness or anything like that yet, like I'm not, I haven't had any actually, but I am starting to feeling today a little bit nauseous. Um, stomach cramps here and there. Um, I kind of had stomach issues from the start, from the get-go, but I've always had stomach issues my whole life. So it's not too unfamiliar for me. But yeah, baby is gonna be due in October. So it's a yeah, 2023 baby October. Um, I am very excited. It's, yeah, I've got my fingers crossed on what I think it is, um, and what I think the baby's gonna be. I've always had this feeling, um, and we'll just wait if it's uh, if it's a boy it's a girl i do not mind but i've always had this feeling that it's going to be one gender one one um either a boy or a girl but i've always had a feeling that it's going to be either one of them um which that didn't come up really clear because it can't be anything more than <laughs> two than the boy, boy or a girl um <laughs> but yeah it's going to be I don't want to say it because I don't want to. I don't want to jinx it or anything like that. Um, but I've had a feeling on what the gender of the baby is going to be. Um, so I'm very excited for that. Um, and also, a few family members have also told me that they've seen me with a certain gender baby. Um, so yeah, and we've all kind of on the same page. So it's I, I can't wait until I can find out what the gender of the baby is going to be. Um, if there's going to be a blood test or something like that I can do before I have to find out before the scan, I will. Um, because I really want to know what the gender of the baby is going to be, uh, to see if I was right. <laughs> so, very excited for that. 
Secondly, my husband, he is over the moon. He is adjusting to the idea of being a dad because um, it's not just a big thing for me, it's a big thing for him as well. So we are both pretty excited. Um, yeah, I can't, I didn't film like me telling him because it was just straight. I found out I did the whole, because I did a few tests um, and all of them came back with like a faint line or and then the day afterwards a bit of a darker line and darker line. So I kind of knew before, like a few days before I told him um, because I wanted to be extra sure that it's not just like a fake positive and um, I did a digital test. So once I done the digital, the clear blue digital one, which I'll add a photo somewhere here. Once I did that, um, I decided once that came back and said you're pregnant, uh, pregnant one to two weeks, um, which technically you're then uh, three to four weeks um, because it counts from the from your last period. Anyway, that's here nor there. But anyway, once I had that, I just went up because he was busy working on the um, heat pump he put in. Um, so I just went up to him and be like, hey, I can't hide anything from you. So haha, <laughs> we're pregnant. And this is our first try as well. Um, we only decided in January um, that, like literally the week that I was fertile, I think the night my fertility window opened up, I was like, hi, I am ready to have children. And um, and he was like, yes, let's do this, because he's been ready for a while. He just wanted to make sure that I'm ready for it. But um, yeah, so <laughs> literally, if I look back at it, it was literally the week that I was fertile that we started trying. Um, and yeah, I'm pregnant. Um, so we're very very lucky very very blessed with that um, and um, yeah I am very excited um, let's pray and hope um, no well not hope but we're gonna pray for a blessed pregnancy um, nothing will go wrong everything will be good uh, I claim that in the name of Jesus Christ um, so I'm very excited I can probably see I'm stumbling on my words but I'm so excited so yeah we have told family and very close friends uh, just so they can be aware of what's going to go on, what's going to be going on with me, because if I'm going to get sick like my sister did when she was pregnant, uh, it's going to be very noticeable um, at work and at home. So uh, we just want to make sure that everybody is aware. And um, yeah, I know it's very early, but we're, we're excited. We're very, very excited. So yay. Um, yeah, I will appreciate some happy thoughts and some... Um, well, by the time you guys are probably going to see this, it's going to be further along anyway. Um, because, like I said, I don't plan to uh, put this video out until like I'm done with my first trimester. Um, so that will be like end of March. I don't plan to put this video out until then. So, yeah. But anyway, um, prayers and blessings will be much appreciated on the little peanut. Uh, that's what we're calling it. It's a peanut. So, yeah. Little peanut. Um, yeah. <laughs> All right. I'll give you guys an update again about the pregnancy later on <laughs> hello and um, this is week six day two of my pregnancy and morning sickness has kicked in very much so um yeah not a long throwing up but feeling like crap if i eat something and my body doesn't like it i feel like crap for hours afterwards um so that's currently what i'm dealing with um and i feel like just bleh so yeah, I've had feeling like a little bit crappy for um, on day four. Oh no, week four I felt a little bit off. Week five I felt a little bit off, but nothing like I can't even hold my arm up. <laughs> nothing to the point that it is now um, to at week six, um, and I can actually say okay, this is morning sickness because um, my skin just drains and yeah, um, but still very excited very very excited it's going to be worth it it just means morning sickness just means baby is growing because it's a growth hormone that's causing it um so i'm very excited about it and um yeah baby is growing so that's a very good sign there's your update and we're back i am about 13 weeks pregnant now so officially in the second trimester and i thought i'd do a little bit update because this will be the first video um, you would probably see and find out that I am pregnant. Uh, I wanted to do the whole, um, the whole pregnancy from finding out week by week what happened, how it happened, uh, not how it happened, of course, everyone knows how that happened, but like how pregnancy was week by week, what was my symptoms, what was I feeling, but, um, the first week was just, oh, the first trimester was just a bit too much. 
um, yeah. So what I dealt with in my first trimester was a lot of nausea. I think it was from between six and seven week, weeks. Um, I started throwing up every single morning, so a bit TMI, but every single morning my routine um, was wake up, go to the bathroom, and the moment I was in the bathroom, like sitting on the on the toilet, I would start throwing up. So I had a separate, separate um, bucket um, for that, because that's just how it got, went. And um, I would have like, over the weekends, if I could sleep in longer than 7 a.m., um, if I could sleep in like till 9, then um, I wouldn't throw up straight away, everything will be calm, and I could maybe get through half the day without throwing up. Um, but mostly I would throw up in the mornings, and then if I forgot to eat or I take too long to eat, then it would happen, and then I'll get nauseous and throw up again. And then here, closer to like to week 10, 11, 12, um, it ramped up, I got a lot more nauseous, a lot more sick, um, and a week 12... Yeah, week 12, um, I had a bit of a scary incident where I actually had to go to the hospital. Um, I was throwing up a lot and not morning sickness, like just in the morning. Um, I was throwing up, I threw up twice at night and then the next day I was just feeling nauseous the whole day. And um, I actually blew like a blood vessel in my eye in this one. I don't know if it's still there, if it's healed or not, but it's somewhere over here. Um... But uh, I'll add a photo of that. I uh, blew a blood vessel. I didn't even know about it. Um, I only found out about it two days afterwards uh, when, when one of my work colleagues pointed it out for me. Um, but I threw up a lot of blood. And so I had to go to the hospital. I got an IV and they just made sure that everything was fine. It was just uh, something triggered my nausea that day. Um, and I was just throwing up a lot. And then the blood was just from my throat, basically. Which, in some sense, is actually common for pregnant women who throw up a lot. But throwing up a lot is also not common, if you get what I'm saying. Um, but yes, so, so that was basically nausea for my pregnancy. Um, it's just like clockwork. Like, after that, two, three days after I was at the, in the hospital um, for a few hours, then it just, I stopped. I stopped throwing up. Um, and I'm now 13 weeks. 13 weeks in a few days. Um, and... This morning was the first time I had morning sickness again, but I kind of kind of triggered it because I bent over to put on a pants. And I think from just from the pressure of how I was bending over just triggered um, fluids or triggered my gag reflex. I'm not 100% sure, but I felt like I triggered it. Um, so, yeah, I threw up again. And, yeah, I haven't been nauseous. I'm just not nauseous anymore, which is fantastic. So I'm super happy I'm not... Um, in that phase anymore that that yeah that nauseous phase um another symptom i had from early stages were the tired i was extremely tired for the first few weeks but that also faded away to a point where um i think week 11 12 from there on i wasn't as as exhausted anymore which is good because that pregnancy tired is no joke like you are exhausted and that made working kind of really difficult for me um yeah um, what was my other symptoms? Um, well, we, we, we're trying to keep on top of my blood work and everything because I've got Hashimoto, so underactive thyroid, trying to keep on top of that, even though I've seen that my um, blood test results have risen, even though my doctor says it's still normal, it's still in the normal bracket, but we need to keep an eye on it. Um, because, yeah, I've heard that people can struggle, people who have uh, Hashimoto's can struggle uh, with during pregnancy, uh, so I just need to keep an eye on that. Um, body aches and pains, uh, lower back issues a lot. Um, I injured my back from me throwing up so much. Um, I injured my back. My back went into spasm for about six days. Uh, worst back sprain I've ever had. And of course I couldn't do scans, but they just put it down to, um, a very bad back sprain. So that happened in, I wanted to say week nine. Yeah, I think it was week 9 or week 10 um, that happened. And since then, I've always just had like a sensitive lower back, like right where your coccyx is on both sides of my coccyx. Uh, very sensitive, but also I've heard that because um, my muscles are starting to relax and expand, uh, preparing for baby, as well as um, the uterus is growing. It puts more pressure on certain, um, certain muscles and vessels. So... 
yeah, I'm trying to monitor it. Um, walking a lot, I still struggle with. Um, but I need to get back into walking because I'm gaining weight. And uh, I don't feel like it's healthy pregnancy weight because I'm already overweight. Um, so I need to control my weight gain. Uh, apparently, it's healthy for me to gain like five kilograms. Um, and so I just want to make sure that it's, it's staying at five kilograms. It's not going above. Um, and even if I can lose some weight, but still being healthy, that would be great. But my midwife doesn't want me to focus on uh, my weight loss or weight gain at all, which is difficult because I have a mental um, issue, mental health issue when it comes to my weight. So, yeah, that's also something fun that's been going on. Um, I haven't had any much like much food aversion um, other than I just don't want to eat. I'm not hungry. Um, I only get hungry once I'm nauseous. So usually my trigger for knowing how you need to eat is um, I'm nauseous and then it's too, too far gone. So then I usually throw up um, or I just get super, super nauseous to a point like I don't want to eat. That was my biggest thing. I just don't want to eat. But um, so that was it with food aversion so far. Um, and usually food that I would crave to eat, like my favorite pizza from my favorite restaurant, um, which I would crave, I would go and eat it and I just don't have the sense, the taste for it. Um, not that I, I don't want to eat it. It's just the, the, you know, that sensation of you eating something that you've been craving. It's just, it's so good. I don't have that. Um, so food is just food. It's just blood to me right now. Um, I'm not completely against it, but I have been enjoying fruit, a lot of fruit, like canned fruit and stuff like that. I've been really enjoying fruit. That's basically the anything I can, the only thing I can say I've been craving. Um, and then, um, uh, smells, oh my word, I think from day, week five, week six, smells have just been kicking up rampant for me, can't stand certain stuff, can't stand certain smells, and living, sorry, living in a tiny home, woo, yeah, living in a tiny home does not help because you can smell anything and everything straight away, um, and then my husband's like, he doesn't smell anything. And I'm like, yeah, I can clearly smell something. It's just, it's annoying me. It's making me nauseous. I hate the smell. Um, I have sprayed so many stuff just to get rid of smells. And it's not helping because, yeah, half of it's probably on my head. But that's one of, I would say probably one of the worst things so far in this pregnancy is just being able to smell so many stuff. And it's just, it's working on my nerves because it just makes me nauseous. And I can't stand it. It makes me uncomfortable in my own home. Um... But, like I said, my husband can't smell the stuff that I'm smelling. He's, yeah, that's a really weird thing. Like, we have to be taking out our trash cans, like, where we used to do it, like, once a week or when the bin was full. Now we have to take it out, like, every couple of days because I can smell shit. I can smell it. So, um, and it just gets to a point of, I want to throw up. So, that's the fun thing about it. <laughs> yeah. Um, but other than that, um, we've been doing scans. We've, uh, saw the baby this week at the 12 and a half week scan. Um, and the baby's looking really good. I was, <laughs> the baby, like, we don't know if it's a boy or a girl yet, but, um, yeah, we'll find that out in a few weeks. Um, but the baby was like stretching and kicking and moving around a lot. So I feel like the baby's going to be very busy in my tummy. Um, the baby's currently sitting like right underneath my navel uh, from the scan that we saw. And yeah, very, bu very busy little thing, eh? <laughs> um, once I'll be able to feel baby, um, I, I wonder if baby's going to be like moving around um, as much. And will I be feeling it? Because then I'm going to be constantly being kicked and moved around because man, baby was so busy. But everything looked good on the scans. Um, we could see the little feet. Um, we could actually see one of the feet's little toes. It was so cute. Uh, facial features, um, like the little skeleton. Like, baby looked like a, like a little monkey. Like, you would see like a little chimp. <laughs> um, so, it was really cute. <laughs> so cute. And the heartbeat was strong. Um, yeah, I'll add a photo somewhere. I'll show you guys a cute little photo of the um, little nose. And, yeah, it was it was really good to see baby. Um, I'm excited to find out about the gender of the baby. Um I'm very, very excited to find that out, but we have to wait until, I think, 20 weeks. So we're about seven weeks away from finding out the baby's gender. Um, yeah, which is uh, neither near there. We will find out when we find out. Um, yeah. 
that I would say from what I can recall with my pregnancy and everything for first trimester, that is what's currently happening and going on. Um, I am just trying to um, get back into my normal routine because like the first, I really wanted to do a whole week by week little video like week six, week seven, week eight. I really wanted to do that. But once proper like proper pregnancy hormones kicked in and everything. I just, I couldn't do anything. I couldn't be fuzzed doing anything. Um, I couldn't put a, pick up a phone and do videos. I wasn't motivated. I, um, I just really wasn't feeling like myself at all. And I couldn't do videos. You, you probably saw like my Instagram and stuff like that. And in on here, I haven't posted in such a long time because I was just not feeling like myself. I wasn't motivated, nothing. Um, and it's like I said, just like clockwork. As soon as I hit my 13 weeks, everything just switched. Where I'm now, I'm more comfortable in what I'm doing. I'm more um, inspired to film again and shoot videos and post. Um, like, it's just... It's it's different now for me. It's um, it's like the hormones have are starting to balance out, which which I'm very happy for. Um, I know second trimester is people's favorite, but we'll see how it goes for me. Um and what challenges it's going to bring along. Um, I've been trying to do a lot of research and videos on what second trimester is about, what I need to prepare for, um, what I need to get in order, all of that. Um, plus, we've got that trip coming up as well, which we'll see how it's going to be on the flights, because that's something I'm stressing about, sitting on a flight for that long. And uh, blood clots is um, something to be concerned about when you're flying and you're pregnant. So that's something I need to monitor as well with my midwife and talk to her. Uh, maybe take something with me that I can use on the flight just to make sure that everything will be fine. Um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. But this is basically my, this is what basically happens in my first trimester. And um, yeah, we're going to see how it goes from here. So thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Um, yeah, we'll just try and get more videos out from now on, won't we? And I will see you guys in the next one. God bless you. Remember, if you need any prayers or any thoughts, leave it down in the comments down below. And um, I'll get to it. All right, guys. See ya. Bye.